On account of my previous video that details some of the do's and don'ts of burying shipping containers, I'm putting out this follow-up in order to answer some other questions that came up. I had a lot of people asking, well, what about burying a bus or a camper? Well, what about it? Let's take a look. I'm sure many of you know about the underground superstructure called Arc 2 that was featured on Doomsday Preppers. But if you watched that episode, and if you haven't, please do, I'm sure you can find it, you clearly see the dilapidated condition of the entire structure. I really don't regard the Arc 2 as safe or sound for habitation. It's leaking, it's collapsing in areas, there's no ventilation. You get the idea. Just watch the episode. Basically, a bus or a camper is no more designed to be buried than a shipping container, even less so, and will likely succumb to the environment more quickly than a shipping container would. In order to do it safely, you would have to, in essence, place it inside of another structure, just like with a shipping container. If you're determined to do it, please see the shipping container video. I'll put a link to it down below. Otherwise, it's going to shift. It's going to get crushed and it's going to leak and probably faster than the container would. In addition to everything that you would need to do with a shipping container, you would have to seal up all of those windows. You would have to remove all the fluids from the vehicle. You would have to remove the tires. There's a lot more to consider. I know there are some people who have apparently successfully buried a school bus or a camper, but I really personally don't recommend it. Likewise, I've also been asked about burying a camper, and the same holds for a camper as a school bus. It's not the best idea. Most campers are very flimsily built, so again you would essentially have to place the camper inside of another structure in order to guarantee its safety. It's simply not designed to be buried. In fact, a camper would be even less safe than a bus. Now, not to worry, since there has been so many questions on the subject, I'll be doing another video offering some possible alternatives in the near future. And don't worry, I'm not going to sell you anything. I don't have any sponsors. As a matter of fact, I've refused some sponsorship offers on this channel because it was stuff I honestly don't think I would buy. If you have any comments or suggestions pertaining to the video, please put them in the comments section down below. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Emphasis on share, since YouTube doesn't like me and seems to sanction almost everything I put out. I do have another channel called Coffee Talk. If you get a chance, check it out. It may surprise you. So once again, stay frosty, folks, and thanks for watching.